tell me how it started from the beginning from the start yeah <laughs> that's a really good question thanks for asking there's a lot of people ask and they would be happy with what i've told them so far <laughs> but uh, not many people go a little bit deeper so you're on the way to being joe rogan <laughs> mate as we spoke about earlier it started really simply i was i was at rugby practice in 2004 and i heard a guy behind me and i heard this big deep voice and i was like oh this guy is big you know i could you know when you can just you don't have to look you just can feel and he was talking to another guy about personal training and i was listening to the conversation and i i just i don't know why mate I just had enough. These guys were talking and going nowhere. And I turned around and as I turned around, I saw this guy, but the words were already coming out of my mouth. And I just said, I'll train you. And he looked at me and the guy who was a personal trainer, he's my friend. I'd never met this guy before. They just looked at me. I said, I'm just, I've had enough of you guys talking. Where do you live? And this is where I really believe everything happens for a reason. This guy said, I, I was living over in the greens here in Dubai at the time, and he was living in the lakes. And I was like, that's like 2K from my house. I think it was about 2.5. I said, I'll see you outside your house at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. His face just completely <laughs> dropped, like literally <laughs> dropped, mate. And he looked at me, and I think he wanted to ask me if I was serious, but I think he could see that I was serious. Because... I'd, I'd processed this so fast. And as I drove home, I was like, there's nothing to lose here. Minimum, I'm going to run two and a half K. He's not going to wake up. He was 130, 140 kilos, big guy. He was 192, 195 centimeters. So just big in all directions. Worst case, I'd run there. He wouldn't be there and I'd run home. I'd have 5K run. I was okay. like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, there was nothing to lose. And I got there and it wasn't, I sound super old here, but it was in the days where if I tell you I'll see you next week at six, I don't need to message you 20 times. Like, yeah. I'll see you at six. Anyway, it was the next day. I get there and literally he's outside his house full of energy. Wow. And I was like, holy shit, he's here. <laughs> he made it. <laughs> like, he's here. And he said to me, what are we going to do? And I said, we're just going to walk out. So we walked out of the housing development and I could, it was pitch black. It was January, February time. And I could see some lights, like street lights. And they were, you know, 50, 100 meters apart. I said, you see the street light? He said, yeah. I said, we're going to run to the first one and then we're going to walk and then we're going to run. We're going to walk. And he looked at me like freaking out. He said, really? I said, yeah. I said, let's just see what happens. Anyway, we get to the first one. His breathing's a bit more. We walk one, we get to the second, the next one. He's breathing even heavier. We go one more. I said, okay, let's turn around and let's do the same thing on the way back. We do this by this time, like he's really breathing heavy. We did some little, again, in our studies, we're taught to do some testing, some analysis. And I did a couple of little things with him, literally mate. We were out 20 minutes and he was finished. Mm -hmm. He said, what are we gonna do now? I said, you're gonna go home. He said, what? I said, go home before you have a heart attack I said and do one thing think about what you want to do I said don't call me at seven o'clock at eight o'clock I said call me at lunchtime and tell me why you want to train with me and he was just looking at me and I was I think I was still freaking him out a little bit mm. and he I he was probably at a point or I know he was at a point of desperation he knew he had to change he had a small door a uh, small son in the house he wanted to get better he knew he wasn't in good shape and he said okay 12 zero like one second past 12 my phone rings nokia 3210 you know starts to ring and he goes thank you very much i want to train with you I said, okay why he said my goal is that i can help you this guy is saying all the right things because remember what I said I was looking for people to train with he said I know it might take a little bit of time but I promise whatever you say I'll do and I'll get to a point where we can train together I was like done 
three days a week, I'd run to his house two and a half K. After a few weeks, I could start doing the exercises with him. After a few more weeks, we could train for more than 30 minutes. And you know, then, and this is how it goes, mate, is I'd invested this time and this energy in him. And of course, in eight weeks, the guys in the rugby team, his attitude, this guy's attitude towards them had changed. His physique started to change. And I created, or, or we were starting to create a disciple. Someone that, you know, would, he, he's living proof that you can do this mm, stuff. Yeah. And it was so simple. Three days a week, we go to his house, there's a bit of grass outside on the lakes. It's still there. I walked past it uh, about six weeks ago and I was like, wow, that's the place. And that's, that's how it all started. Yep. And then the guys started to come.